Hey everybody, it's another drive time with Coach B, NXG Combat Sports, and NXG TV. So I saw a quote today, and it really stood out to me. It said, a goal without a plan is just a wish, right? So I hear a lot of people, and they want to will things into existence. They want this to happen. They believe that will happen. But what they are lacking is a plan, a business model, a roadmap, whatever it is that helps develop a process to transition you from where you are to where you want to be. And this reminds me of a lot of things that I've seen in my life that have actually helped educate me, uh, even if unintentionally. So I've had the pleasure of being around multiple business owners in my life and having the opportunity to take and gain wisdom both from their knowledge and their errors, right? So anytime I make a suggestion, I'm not making it based off of my own simple logic or my own infinitely majestic mind, right? Because that's not the case. But what I am is I'm a learner, I'm a student, I'm a scholar. I try not to take opportunities and waste them and if that means I can learn from my own mistakes, or if I can learn from the mistakes and shortcomings of others, then there's no need for me to duplicate those errors, right? So making mistakes is not a problem. It's duplicating those mistakes over and over again, simply hoping something is going to change. So it takes me back to that quote, a goal without a plan is simply a wish. If you are in a position and it is not going as desired, if your company is not making the revenue that you had hoped it would make, if you don't have uh, whatever satisfactions in your life, etc., and this goes across the board, you need to reevaluate your plan. Do you have one, first of all? Stop winging it by the seat of your pants. Successful people are successful because they are calculated. People don't just get lucky, guys. Maybe every once in a while it happens. But in mass, the average person that makes some form of success in their life has done so with a plan. We tell our kids the importance of hard work and the necessity to get good grades. Why? Because we want them to be able to get into college or we want them to be able to have a work ethic that they can apply towards a trade or towards a passion, something they can monetize, right? Some means of making money in the future. When our child is old enough to make their first significant purchase, perhaps a car, we express to them, or we should, the importance of building credit, paying your debts on time. Throughout all of their life, we've explained to them the importance of honesty. We hear folklore and tales of the little boy who cried wolf, right? The morals behind all of this is a calculated effort and plan towards the next action or activity. If you are honest, then people will believe you. If you are forthright in your actions, if you repay your debts, then people will continue to loan to you. If you are um, intent where your work ethic is concerned and you show people that they will get value for the investment that they make in you, then you will be hireable, you will be employable, you will be a good investment opportunity. What are you doing today to prepare for tomorrow? I challenge that to anybody and everybody, no matter where you're at in your life. If you're doing well, you're still striving to do better. If you're not doing as you wish, you should be looking for corrective action. All of these things require a plan, guys. Taking you back to that quote one more time. A goal without a plan is simply a wish. You can't just hope that it happens, guys. You have to take clear and concise effort. I've said it a million times and I'll keep saying it. Measure twice and cut once. I'm Coach B with NXG TV. Have a great evening.